Now, when most people are asked who the best player in the world right now is, the common answers are Kylian Mbappe, Erling Haaland, or I mean to even some Jude Bellingham. And those guys are all rightfully in the conversation. Kylian Mbappe has dominated French football since he was pretty much a teenager. Haaland is by far the best finisher in world football. And Jude, well, I mean, Jude has been a monster at Real Madrid this season, scoring 23 goals and getting 12 assists in all competitions in his first season at Real Madrid at just the age of 20 years old. But how is it not more common to hear the name Vinny Jr.? And that has me bamboozled. I mean, Vinny Jr. isn't only one of the best players in the world, but right now, arguably the best player in the world. And if Real Madrid win the Champions League after securing themselves yet another La Liga title, and if Brazil can at least put in a really good showing in the Copa America, then quite honestly, Vinny Jr. should be the one in line for the Ballon d'Or. But why do I think this? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So what's going on, everyone? You are listening to Back of the Nature. I hope you're all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Now, Vinny Jr. properly exploded in the 2021-2022 season with the arrival of Carlo Ancelotti. Before that, Vinny Jr. under Zidane either struggled to be a starting 11 player and or he just really struggled in the final third making him look like a bust of a wonder kid or a wonder kid that still had a lot of potential but needed a lot of work to improve. Vinny Jr. always had the ability to beat players one-on-one -on -one, but under Zidane and Santiago Solari, Vinny had some terrible decision making in the final third, couldn't finish to save his life and looked like a player that would need a lot more time to grow to become the player that his potential had shown. This was around the same time that Barca fans were comparing him to Ansu Fati. Now, of course, that comparison looks awful, but at the time, Ansu Fati was maybe slightly better than Vinny. In Vinny's first three seasons at Madrid under Santiago Solari and Zinedine Zidane, he scored 14 goals and got 23 assists in 115 games for Los Blancos, working out to a goal or assist every 3.1 games, which maybe doesn't sound that bad, but being in a star-studded team like Real Madrid that dominates games, it is a really underwhelming stat. But the moment Carlo stepped in as manager of Real Madrid, well, Vinny Jr. became a beast. In his first season under Carlo, Vinny Jr. scored 22 goals and got 20 assists in just 52 games that season, as well as scoring in the Champions League final to beat Liverpool. He credited Carlo, saying that Carlo Ancelotti had told him that within his first two touches in the final third, Vinny had to make up his mind on what he was going to do rather than overthinking a dribble or overthinking a finish like he did continuously under Zidane and under Silati in his first three seasons at the club. The next season, Vinny remained on fire, scoring 23 goals and getting 21 assists in 55 games. And this season, without Benzema next to him and Vinny Jr. having to be the primary outlet up front for Real Madrid, outside of Bellingham, but even then, Vinny Jr. is still the primary goal scorer for Madrid. Vinny Jr. has again scored 23 goals and got 11 assists in a pretty injury-struck campaign, playing just 37 games and missing 11 games through injury this season. So his stats, considering that there is no Benzema and he has missed a career-high 11 games through injury, still have 23 goals and 11 assists is really impressive. And Vinny Jr. isn't one of those players that stat pads against smaller teams and can't deliver on the big stage. I mean, throughout Vinny Jr.'s time at Real Madrid, and especially now under Carlo Ancelotti, he has proved that he can always perform in big games when the spotlight is at its brightest. In Vinny's last three years under Carlo, he has scored in a Champions League final, scoring the winning goal in that final. He has scored at least one goal in the Champions League semi-finals three years in a row. He has got an assist in the UEFA Super Cup final against Frankfurt. He scored three goals and got one assist in two games in the FIFA Club World Cup, including getting a brace and one assist in the final. Vinny has scored one goal and got two assists in the Copa del Rey semi-finals against Barcelona and followed that up with a further assist in the final. And Vinny has most recently followed this all up with a hat-trick against Barcelona in the Spanish Super Cup final. Vinny isn't only a consistent player that punishes small teams, but he is a player for the big moments capable of performing regardless of the opposition or the moments. This season, in nine games in the Champions League, Vinny has scored five goals and got five assists. He has 10 goals or assists in nine games in the Champions League and he has helped drag his team to yet another Champions League final. Vinny Jr. this season, 
ranks in the 96th percentile of forwards in touches of the ball, ranks in the 87th percentile in chances created, ranks in the 83rd percentile in shot attempts, and ranks in the 80th percentile in goals. Vinny Jr. is an absolute monster, and he should be seen as one of, if not the best player in the world. And at the age of 23, now going on to 24, Vinny Jr. has won three Spanish Super Cups, one Copa del Rey, one UEFA Super Cup, three La Liga titles, two FIFA Club World Cups, one La Liga Player of the Season, one Champions League, and it could even be two Champions League in a couple of weeks. The only thing missing from Vinny Jr.'s portfolio is national team success. But other than that, Vinny Jr. has already got a full trophy case of winner medals at just the age of 23. Vinny Jr. has draw drop in speed. He is elite in one-on-ones with defenders. He is great in the final third, whether it be chances created or even finishing chances. His finishing has improved tenfold. Vinny Jr. is by all accounts the perfect winger. So yes, I know Mbappe is amazing. Yes, I know Haaland is amazing. Jude is even amazing in his own right. But how Vinny Jr. isn't widely and comfortably regarded as one of, if not the best player in the world right now, I have no idea.